place to be, the boy Z Snacks. Stop smoking weed. <laughs> I had to do like I just, I'm one of those stoner dudes that do dumbass shit to your amusement. Like, <laughs> yo, dude, I used to get so high I could be driving my car all by myself. There's nobody in the car but me. I get out, go to the corner store, come back and sit in the passenger seat, waiting for the driver to show up. <laughs> Yo, man, where this dude at, man? <laughs> you know, if he don't come, I'm calling the cab. That's it. <laughs> you call the cab, go home, go to sleep sober up, wake up in the morning, look out the window, your car gone like that, right? Like, man, it's the third time this month. I gotta move out this neighborhood. Man. He didn't stop smoking. <laughs> He, uh, he was a weed dealer, man. He know that I quit. Well, he was an experiment on new bugs. And I was his guinea pig. Like, he used to do a ritual with his weed. Like, he'll take like a pound of weed and put it on top of his flat screen TV and watch movies all day. Like, he'll watch a marathon of, of whatever director and then name it after whatever director or movie he's seen. Every time I smoked his shit, I blank out into like a monologue. Like this one time I was rushing to a show, he came over the door, yo Chris, what's good? I was like, what's good, man? I was like, yo, I quit. He's like, no, 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 I got some good shit, man. You need to try this shit. I was like, listen, I'm good. He had a lit already, he was like this. I was like, man, you know what, you were the book. <laughs> okay, this is all right. I like this, cause that. <laughs> <laughs> he walk up and down these streets all day playing. He ain't playing. You think he playing by this money? You don't bring me into this shit. He know where my mama live. He know where your mama live. He said he had a gun when he seen him, right? Well, there ain't one person in the hood that played like that. <laughs> I swear to God, what you gonna name this shit? He was like, Friday. <laughs> she didn't see the movie. <laughs> what up all my snack heads? It's your boy C Snacks. Just did my set at Cabot here in Chicopee, Mass. Great crowd, man. Always get love every time I come here. Big shout out to Jeremy Golf, man. Hosted the show, man, here at Cabot. Now, um, the owners and Jeremy put me on to the Chicken Tata here at Cabot Comedy Club. And um, you know I gotta break it down on the side with my sweet potato fries with the sea salt going on. Always banging, man. Sometimes certain spots, their uh, sweet potato, it ain't that good. Sometimes they put mad salt on it and I hate it when it's like that. Sweet potato fries are in and let me tell you, I ain't like it at first, but it's like I noticed the difference between the regular salt and the sea salt. It's like the sea salt, it tastes a little bit richer when it comes to eating that with the sweet potato fry, and I love it, man, I gotta say. So, Jeremy put me on to the chicken cha cha. It has guacamole in it, it has lettuce, cheddar cheese, um, tomato, and they have the sauce that they have in it is called uh, a maple aioli sauce. Now that's their secret sauce that they got going on here in Cali. Everybody says off the hook. Big shout out to Paul Verzi. Paul Verzi said this is one of the best freaking raps that he's ever had. Now that's deep right there. So you know your boy C Snacks had to try that. This is what it looked like, you know. So like to taste it, here it go. Hmm. Oh yeah. It wasn't shy with the guacamole, man. Cause you know, anywhere you go, they give you guacamole and they charge you for extra, especially at Chipotle's, I hate that. They gonna charge me like $9,000 for guacamole, man. Stop playing. You know, it wasn't shy with the guacamole. I could taste the cheddar cheese. I could taste the, uh, the lettuce they got going on in there. Taste of tomato. Now, they told me that the maple aioli sauce is not in the uh, the wrap. It's actually this. 
I thought this was honey mustard, but it's not the honey mustard. This is the maple aioli sauce. So you know your boy got to indulge in all that. I'm going to get all nasty and stank with it and put it all over in this wrap. Just, just lay it in there like it's a Dutch. And you're, rolling, you're rolling all that old good sticky ooey right there. They call it nasty. See, I like it nasty. It'll be all over my hands and all that nastiness. That nasty good old funk. Now let's get nasty with this, with this nasty maple aioli sauce, freak nasty deliciousness. Mmm. See how that just drip? Yo. Aioli sauce? You should call this that filthy McNasty sauce. This is good right here. Oh. Oh my God. Yo. Yo, Cabot. No BS. This maple aioli sauce, son. I need, I'm gonna need a tub of this to go. I'm gonna pour some of this on my girl so we can get nasty tonight. This right here. Yeah, this is bang bang right here. Your boy C Snack said this is official right here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yo, straight up and down, Cabot. I'm not bullshitting. This right here is banging. This is banging. I can't front. Uh-uh. Um, this is what's up right here. And that's how you do it, man. You gotta perform and they give you some food after that. Listen, even if you coming in there just to enjoy the food, come on down to Cabot. They have comedy every Thursday here in Chicopee Mass. And then they have a show it's Friday and Saturday, man. It's your boy C Snacks.